Today we're gonna take a look at Simlab and their assortment of 3D applications. Probably a lot of you guys don't know about this, Simlabsoft is a company that has been developing tools for 3D design and VR for almost two decades now. But for some reason, I feel like many people don't know about them. As you may know, it is no secret that the world is moving toward digital mediums every day, especially 3D and virtual reality, and Simlab is one of those developers that are trying to pave the way for it with quality services and tools. They offer multiple products, each tracking a specific use case, like VR creation, 3D visualization, CAD file conversion, and more. The products listed are as follows. Simlab Composer, VR Studio, VR Viewer, and the standalone CAD Vorter, along with many major CAD software plugins. The main one is Composer, and under that, you have VR Studio, which is a stripped-down version of Composer, and Viewer for running VR projects, but we'll get into that in a bit. Composer is the backbone of Simlab's ecosystem, which is a tool that covers VR, 3D imports, rendering and animation, and 360-degree images. It is organized by a workbench system, so you've got everything you need for different workflows grouped together. The animation workbench, for example, handles from basic keyframes to advanced sequences, giving you tools to animate objects and cameras. Then there is the VR workbench, which lets you set up VR-specific navigation, effects, and media. The simulation workbench covers physics-based mechanic simulation, like joints and rigid bodies, bringing a bit of realism into your scenes, while the automation workbench lets you create interactive actions and triggers with or without coding, which is handy for repetitive tasks. Composer has the essentials too. You have, for example, a scene browser that keeps everything visible in a tree-like view and a properties panel where you can tweak details like materials, lighting, and object behavior. You will also find a VR-ready models library to quickly build out scenes with assets like furniture, equipment, and tools, and a whole VR-ready environment, which is gonna be great for classrooms, training rooms, or product demos. If you're working with large models, Composer provides more optimization tools such as mesh decimation to reduce poly count, and texture optimization to reduce texture image resolution, and light and texture backing, which are crucial for VR, and smooth normals to ensure polished surfaces. In addition, I have to mention that exporting is flexible, with options like 3D PDF, WebGL files, and VR-ready formats. And I think with this flexibility, you can easily share your work in various formats, whether it is for quick demos or detailed interactive experiences. For interactivity, Composer has a node-based system, which is great. And with this, you can visually connect actions and responses. This is especially handy in the training builder for setting up interactive elements like clickable objects, pop-ups, or quizzes. And you can build custom sequences without needing to dive into code. And this is great for training setups. Recently, the Ultimate Edition added AI integration, connecting OpenAI tools to VR creation, which is awesome. And this brings a creative layer to VR design, letting you explore ideas directly within the VR environment. VR Studio, on the other hand, is basically a standalone version of Composer's VR workbench. While Composer is packed with tools for rendering, animations, and 360-degree images, VR Studio streamlined the workflow specifically for creating VR experiences without scripting. It's focused on building interactive environments and drops the extra features like rendering or baking. Obviously, you will still get access to libraries of VR-ready models for a quick setup but it is stripped down when it comes to animations, textures, and scripting. This makes VR Studio an option if you only need to focus on creating VR spaces with interaction in mind quickly. After you have set up everything up in Composer or VR Studio, the Simlab VR Viewer is where it all comes together. It is compatible with VR headsets like Oculus Quest, Pico, and Windows Mixed Reality, in addition to desktops and phones, making it easy to share and explore VR projects. 
And the best thing I like about this is that it is free. So anyone you want to show your work to, whether it is your clients, students or teammates, can access it without hassle. The viewer also allows for multi-user sessions, so everyone can join the same VR environments as avatars to review, comment and explore together. This feature is great for remote project walkthroughs or collaborative reviews. And just in case you were wondering, there is also an offline mode where you can download models and explore them without needing a Wi-Fi or an internet connection, which I have to admit can suit a lot of people who don't have consistent internet or if you work in a remote location, though you have to keep in mind you still need internet access to browse the entire catalog. And if you are a CAD software user like Fusion, Max, SolidWorks, Revit, or SketchUp, SimLab has integration plugins that can quickly convert your scene into a walkthrough VR experience in the VR viewer with a couple of clicks, which is great. In addition, these plugins integrate your projects with different SimLab software and services like Composer and Studio. So if you need it, the plugin's integration makes it easy to migrate projects from one application to SimLab software. Building on this, if you deal with CAD files often, CADVorter is a dedicated tool for file conversion, designed to help users bring CAD models into VR and 3D rendering formats more easily. And it supports a wide range of file types, which is handy if you're working across various design tools and need your files ready for VR. This means you can go from CAD files to VR-ready models so smoothly, which is a huge advantage for anyone handling different CAD formats on a regular basis. Now, if you are looking for VR-ready content, SimLab's VR Store provides a variety of pre-made experiences. The store offers a selection of immersive models and scenes, which is ideal for education setups, specialized training, or anyone needing high-quality interactive VR content without building it from scratch. On a side note, the store operates on a subscription-based model, so you can only get some assets with a monthly payment, others you can get yearly, and a few offer both options. It is a bit disappointing that the VR store doesn't offer one-time purchase options, especially if you are just in need to own specific models for a long-term use. While the quality and range is pretty decent, the subscription requirement can feel limited for those of you who prefer flexibility in managing their VR resources. But on the bright side, SimLab also offers a variety of resources to help you get started. Their free virtual reality tutorials on Udemy cover all the basics, like setting up scenes, adding interactions, and exporting projects, which is great for beginners. In addition to their full range of tutorials on their YouTube channel, where you can learn how to go around their software and create VR experiences. For more tips and updates, their blog is packed with insights, including techniques, creative ideas, and updates on the new features. There's also a section for VR service providers, exploring topics like starting a VR business, software options, common challenges, and practical solutions. It also highlights how VR is being used in fields such as education, healthcare, and design. And SimLab gives you some pretty handy options to share your VR project securely while keeping full control over your work. And with SimLab's diverse sharing options, you can choose to send out locked VR packages that prevent others from accessing or editing your source files, which is important, I might add. Or you can go with cloud sharing for easy collaboration with others. Also, instead of passing around large files, you can upload projects to the cloud and share a secure link with clients or team members. They can then view or interact with your projects remotely, either in the VR viewer or on the desktop. It is a simple but effective way to connect with others, especially for remote reviews or collaborative projects. If you are interested in SimLab and all the software they offer, you will find all the necessary links in the description. I hope you guys found this video useful and informative. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, 
Also, please subscribe to this channel to receive more videos like this about 3D software of all different kinds. Thank you guys very much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.